Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable all URL tracking across all web pages on Safari for macOS. Following this process will allow you to ensure that the cross tracking is removed from all web pages on Safari and not just from within the private browsing window. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so for this process to work, you do need to be running macOS Sonoma or later, as this feature was introduced with macOS Sonoma. Now, to enable this feature, what you want to do is go into Safari to start off, and then you're going to go up to the menu bar and click on where it says Safari. Then go down to Settings and click on that. Now, once you reach the Settings page, you'll see the tab bar along the top, and you want to go to the Advanced column. Once we're in the advanced column, we can then come down to where it says privacy and you'll see it says use advanced tracking and fingerprinting protection. Now this is enabled by default, but you can see the drop down menu by default, it's only in the private browsing window. What you want to do instead is click on that and then click in all browsing. And by doing this, it means that Safari removes the identifiable information of the URL while you are visiting the web page so that websites can't cross track you between different websites and all of that. So by doing this, it's not just going to happen in the private browsing window by default, but it will also work in the standard Safari browsing window like I'm in now um, as well. So by changing that setting, it just sets that to all of them. And you can also, if it's not enabled in the first place, make sure you tick that box um, for it to work and then you can choose uh, in all browsing if you want it across all sites. So yeah, that's all there is to changing the Safari preferences to prevent cross-tracking in all browsing windows, not just in the private browsing window. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in changing this preference and making your browsing experience just that little bit more protected and private. You can also see there's option, other options under privacy such as allow websites to check for Apple Pay and Apple Card, allow privacy preserving measurement of ad effectiveness and block all cookies. So there's other options there if you'd like to, but we were focusing on the top one for today. And let me know in the comments below if there's any other settings you'd like me to cover from within Safari or across the Mac uh, as a whole. I'm hoping to get the macOS Sequoia beta installed on my Mac at some point uh, in the future or eventually the final release. So I'll get some videos out about some new features once I get my hands on that. But for now, uh, that's all there is to today's video. And yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.